Hi you guys, welcome to Barbie.Travels. Thank you for all of you guys' DMs, questions on our California fires. And yeah, it's, it's really bad in our California world here. Um, <clears throat> the town um, that really got damaged the most was up north from me and uh, Colfax and other areas, but they're like 40 minutes away from where I'm at. So uh, in a drive. So they're kind of, you know, way up there north in the mountains areas. They're really having a tough time. So you guys make sure if you guys can donate, you know, to the Red Cross and anything to help those families who have lost everything. I mean, there is nothing left for these people. It's really bad. Um, we had some blue skies, as you guys saw my roller skating video. And um, that was yesterday, actually, I taped that. Um, but today was, uh, skies were beige and gray and orange. My daughter, she's in um, Stockton in college, and she said, Mom, the sky is like orange and real, you know, smoky. And I told her to stay inside as much as you can. Don't inhale it. They're saying that that smoke is like really bad. And if you can stay indoors, please do. You know, but of course you have to get out and do what you got to do. But, you know, they're saying it is definitely harmful fumes um, of smoke that's out there because, you know, lead is burning. These trees and everything else. This is really bad. So you guys pray for those people who are out there who have lost everything. Um, you know, put our differences aside for a while. You know, people have their own beliefs and, you know, political beliefs, but you know, it's not right. It's not right for anybody to lose every single thing they have owned. So anyway, I just want to go over my paramedic doll that I found today at Walmart. Um, it was just really a drive by. My husband had to get a few things. I said, okay, let me go over here in the doll section real quick and see what they had. You guys saw my little short video. And um, I saw this was the new one, you know, that was part of the career doll. So this is a paramedic doll. Yes, let's go ahead and turn it around and see what they say about it. All right. Paramedics are first responders trained to respond to emergency call medical calls. They access patients, provide first aid, and transport patients safely to the hospital. Do you like problem solving and caring for others? You can be a paramedic. So they have like over 200 plus careers, I guess, with Mattel. That's awesome if they have 200 careers that are set out, you know, for us to buy to add to our collections. Um, but anyway, I think this is really cool. So they have all the other ones here. I have mostly seen all these already at Walmart and Targets and stuff like that. But yeah, it's really cool. So I had uh, previously kind of opened her already so I don't have to struggle with one hand. My camera here, I have to get used to this because my new phone has a wider um, otter case basically to save it from <laughs> damaging falling hitting the ground and breaking and I don't want that to happen so anyway let's go over this cutie here let's see if she can stand up that's number one that's our, always our first test right y'all stand up girlfriend you gonna stand up for me oh no okay there we go yes you guys that's a plus so you guys always know when we try to get our new dolls can they stand on their own Yes, they sure can. Sorry about my lighting here, you guys. Hold on one second. Okay, there we go. Anyway, but she's really pretty. She has the little tight eyed mold for her eyes. She has some really beautiful lips. They're kind of nicely shaped as well. Nice little soft pink color of lipstick. Her eyes are really pretty with the dark eyeliner there. And her eyes are like a dark brown color. Her eyebrows are arched perfectly in the color to match her hair, which is beautiful. Let's just turn her around real quick and see her hair color. So her hair is really pretty. It's like a, I want to say a light brown color in person but it kind of has a little hint of maybe a little bit of red so she's really pretty i think her 
her hair is really pretty too it's a different color um, she is a paramedic and she comes with her nice stethoscope here with the heart at the end of that her shirt is a uniform shirt and the shirt actually I'm pretty sure it velcros in the back Let's see here uh -huh. yep it velcros right here in the back and are we um, actually excited because it's going to be a two-piece? Let's see. Is it a two-piece for the doll? Yes, you guys. So these are some pants, you guys. We got some pants. Yes, a little bit of elastic there. So no Velcro on the pants at all. So that's a plus two. She is a, I would say, a petite doll. She is not tall at all. She carries herself with a beautiful feature in her face of the expression that she has. It's like a serious look because she's a paramedic, right? And she has these really cute black boots on. I really love the boots. They are laced up with a lace up mold. And the heel is like a low heel. Kind of like a romper bottom for the boot. So yeah, these are really cute. I like these shoes. Definitely will be recycled for other parts for a doll. And let's see, the boot goes all the way up her ankle. See that, you guys? So that's pretty cool. Yes, I like it. All right, so she has this nice red paramedic bag that can help, you know, with saving lives. I guess it might have the heart monitor inside of there or her medicines that's needed for her mission to complete. It has the name Barbie on it, and it looks like it has some side pockets attached, and that is interesting. Let's see if this bag opens, you guys. Oh, look. So it has a little opening there, and you can put things in it if you like. Let's see, is it empty? Nothing's in it. Okay, I was just making sure that had been a plus, right, with some stuff in it. But yeah, yeah, she's pretty cool, you guys. And as you guys know, she's not made to move. I might have to get her made to move body to, because she needs to, you know, transport her patients, right? And it makes more sense for her to be, you know, made to move so she can help lift patients or attend to the patients that she needs. You guys know how it is when we're having these stiff dolls and, you know, we need more movement to make it more realistic, right? So, yes, that's a mission for that. I'll be doing for the finding a body for her. And, uh, yeah, so that is the feature of the paramedic doll. And I'm just trying to stand her back up. I want to stand up, girl. There you go. No, it's not. Okay, so you got to position her correctly. Let's try it again, y'all. Y'all want to watch this. Don't stand up for me. Okay, here. Spread your legs a little bit there. Well, anyway, you guys, I want you guys to like, share, and subscribe below. And, oh, there we go. And let me know what you think about this little cutie here. Also, what kind of name do you think I should name her? I have so many names that I have chosen for my beauties. And, you know, I really like her. I think she's really cute. She can do have some ear piercings as well. Maybe not, because when you're in the medical field, they prefer you not to wear jewelry because your patients could rip off your earrings or do some damaging to your earlobes. So they prefer you not to wear jewelry, rings, or anything like that. And I know, oh goodness, I couldn't depart from my wedding ring, but that was really hard. But yeah, you guys, but she's really pretty. So stay tuned for some more of my videos and some of my do-it-yourselfers and more drama that's coming to the ER room, you guys. Oh my goodness, Jelena's about to have that baby. You guys get ready. So make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell below. Yes, make sure you guys do that, people. We'll chat soon. Have a nice day. Bye.